So, what are green fairies? A green fairy is someone who supplies cannabis to people with health problems. One of our first green fairies is actually on her way to becoming a saint. Sister Mary Joseph Aubert had a side hustle selling cannabis to help fund her welfare work, which made her very popular. Alas, modern green fairies are more likely to get bunged in prison than beatified. This is healer Marky Herbert Kay. She was sentenced to home detention for growing in possession. And this is Rose Renton. She's been the face of the medical cannabis movement and charged with possession and cultivation. If I said to you that I think um, cannabis feels like a very feminine drug. Well, she's a girl, the buds. Are they? <laughs> oh, OK. A woman's way of growing cannabis and a man's grow growing cannabis are two different ways. In what way? The men tend to want it instantly lush and big and sticky, where the female want it to be naturally grown. Was there an event that made you want to do this? Yeah, it was my grandmother. So she had Parkinson's. So I learnt to make cannabis butter, and then I'd make her a muffin. And that just set her up for the day. She had no dreamers, wow. able to feed herself, managed to look after herself a lot better. Rosie became a green fairy after your son Alex died? Yeah, he showed flu-like symptoms in the March of 2015. He was put into an induced coma on the Tuesday morning very early. <clears throat> and then we were, he lifted to Wellington ICU where we remained for 88 days. 88 days. Mm. What made you think that cannabis oil might be something that would help him? It was him that talked to me about it which is just an interesting irony. We were sitting outside in the outside area, veranda area, and he said, if anything ever happens to me, I'd like cannabis as medicine. And, I mean, this is a strapping, fit, healthy um, yeah. rugby player. Never really missed a beat. He was built solid yeah. um, and didn't sort of have sick days and stuff. And so I just went, yeah, fair enough. What are the good things about being a green fairy? So I've got... Um, a couple of young teenagers with ADHD, the parents have decided to go with the CBD oil. It's changed their lives. One young fella was, actually felt that good about himself he could come to the market, which he would never normally do because it's just all the crowds and everything. He came up with his parents and thanked me and gave me a hug. So even though that's a small picture, that's a huge picture of what comes with helping people. Yeah. They're so grateful. It changes their life. Yeah, and it makes you humble. Yeah. There were protests, there was a petition. You became the face of medicinal cannabis. The irony. What's that like for you? It's weird. Because you weren't a rah, 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 No, no I'm not really a stoner either. I really believe in an informed choice. I guess I see myself as a guardian or a, or a, a, a vehicle of information. Um, I'm not attached to uh, anything other than a result for people to access it and, un and understand it. As a green fairy, we're under so much pressure as not to say no. Right. Because that's our intent, you see, is to heal and say yes. Wow. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of answering a lot of calls. Yes. So I, even though I, I work um, four days a week, I'm working all the other times, on the phone, on my emails, you know, just giving them a choice. Yeah. So they come back to me and say, yes, I'm willing to try. So I can't say no. Most of us can't say no. How are you going to vote in the referendum on recreational drug use? I will be voting a yes because it's important for me that the cannabis that is purchased is safe, a regulated industry is far safer mm. than a black market industry. How about recreational cannabis? How are you going to vote in the referendum, Mikey? Oh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a big yes. I can't help thinking that if Mother O'Bear was around today, she'd regard Rose and Mucky as kindred spirits. All three are yet more examples of women doing the mahi when no one else will.